So what's up? Are you gonna explain to me or what? What's there to explain? I mean, this guy was in bed with her. You don't know what this guy was saying. You're right, I don't know. Because you, you won't tell me. All I know is that you lost it and started wailing on some frat boy. He said that Livy was asking for it. And you believe that? He said that Livy invited him up. Jack, come on, there were eyewitnesses. A bunch of nurses that got off duty across the street from the recovery room were waiting for the bus. They saw Livy walk up to your pile the punching bag and give him her number. No, no way, no way. Look, his name is Kyle. He's a sophomore at the U, business major. Okay, well, okay. Who, who did you talk to? Some frat boys? Some of his frat brothers? Yeah, Livy paid for the room. Yeah, but it was supposed to be for us. What, that's what Livy told you? No, but, I mean, why, why you know, was... I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but if you gotta take a swing of me or something for saying this, then do your thing. But everything that I got, everything that I got points to Libby making all the moves. Okay, she deliberately seduced this guy that you almost beat to a pulp. Libby, what do you mean? I you said don't... I don't remember. Livy, Jack finds you in bed with some total hottie, and you don't even remember how it happened? No, Allison, I swear it. I don't know how I got there. It's as if Jack walked in and, and I woke up, like, out of a dream. I can't remember. Okay, calm down, all right? <sighs> From the second I walked out of the recovery room until Jack walked into the hotel... I mean, how did he get there anyway? I don't even know how I got there. How was it that Jack was able to find me Because there? the hotel, they called. What? To confirm your reservation. So Jack thought that, you know, you had gotten a hotel room for the both of you. Oh, no. Um, Livy, there's more. Uh, you know how you went to get all dolled up for your big night with Jack? Yeah, Allison, what is it? Livy, Jack was gonna propose. He was gonna ask you to marry him. I know you don't know why Mommy's packing. Mommy doesn't even know why Mommy's packing. But the thing is, is that we have to go. That's the truth. You see, the thing is, I don't know how it happened or why it happened. But we can't trust your daddy anymore. We can't trust your daddy. All right, all right, before you knock a hole on the door. What? In. What can I do for you? Frank Scanlon to on-call, please. Frank Scanlon. What the heck's going on? Why paid you me to on-call? Hello? What took you so long, Frank? You know I hate waiting. Karen? I was, uh, just trying on a few things I bought. Oh, wow. I guess that means you like what you see. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I bought this with you in mind. All yours. Baby, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Allison, he came to ask me to marry him and, and found me in bed with that guy, and I don't even remember what happened. I can't even tell him how I got there. Listen, me How either. could I do this to him? What is wrong with me? Jamal, are you sure about this? I mean, are you really sure that Libby asked this guy? Come on, I wouldn't have said it if I wasn't sure. <sighs> but it's just not her. I mean, it's not her to do something like that. There's gotta be some kind of reason. Yeah, I know, but like what? I don't know, maybe Caleb. I mean, maybe she's having a stronger reaction than the rest of us. And that makes sense, huh? Yeah, it could be that, maybe. Or... 
Maybe I just don't know Libby anymore. I don't even recognize myself anymore, Ellie. Yeah, and and why you've been acting the way that you've been acting. And feeling and and not feeling and and not remembering these these big chunks of time. They're they're gone. They're missing. And I don't know where I've been or what I've done. I mean, there, there's got to be something wrong with me, right? Please tell me there's something wrong with me, or else, or else what? How could I hurt Jack like this? I mean, maybe we're just overreacting. Okay, I mean, stuff like this just doesn't come out of nowhere, Jack. You know, if Libby's gonna change, she's not just gonna change overnight, you know what I'm saying? But it's not. That's just it. This is not the first time Libby's done something weird. All right, what kind of weird? All kinds. Believe me, I have a whole list. And Jamal, I, I kept trying to push them away, thinking that maybe we could get back to normal. That maybe our relationship could get back the way it was before Caleb. Maybe it can't. And maybe I'm making it worse by trying. No, he's better off without me. I should... just let him go. No, but that's not what you want. And that's not what Jack wants, either. Libby, this isn't the first time something like this has happened, right? Obviously, there's some sort of pattern here, okay? Something's very, very wrong, but you don't just accept it and throw your whole life away. You go see somebody about it, okay? Maybe it's some sort of you know, virus or some sort of post-traumatic you know, thing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, you you, you could be right. Maybe there is yeah. a cure for, for what's happening yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, but you just gotta figure out what it is. Yeah, but before that or, or anything else... You've got to talk to Jack. Yeah, I have to talk to Jack. Okay, sweetie. We're all packed. It's time to go. I just, um... I gotta write your daddy a note and tell him why we're leaving. Ian, I'm writing this to tell you, no, explain why I'm leaving. You don't trust me. You thought that I would put our baby in danger. You called my doctor to get personal information about me. Forget it. It's not gonna work because he's just gonna use that information and turn it against me somehow because your father is the most manipulative man I've ever met. But he's, he's also the most loving. Why am I so afraid of him? I guess I know what that was for. For poisoning my wife's mind. For poisoning her mind. Did you or did you not tell her that I was responsible for the kidnapping in December? Evidence points that way, Ian. What proof do you have? I have a lot more than you think. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, what is it? Why are you coming after me? Why now? Let's say I've been warned. You've been warned by whom? There's someone else who's also worried about your wife's safety, okay? Oh. All right. Well, now I get it. You get what? You're jealous. What? Over what? You want to break up my mind so you can have you back. Well, now I know you're crazy. And that's why you're miserable in your own relationship. Wonderful. Enough. Lucy? What are you doing? You're, you're both acting like some sort of hormonal teenagers. He's trying to break up my marriage. It's you believe problem. whatever you want. My only concern is for your wife. There's the rub. No, that is not the rub. The rub is what we've been talking about, Doc, and you know it deep down. That's what this is about. Lucy, he came into my home and he punched me. Now, don't give me any more nonsense about an evil force. What do you mean, nonsense? The explanation for this is a lot simpler than that, and the answer is standing right there. What was I thinking? If anybody's gonna leave, it's gonna be your father. You can't just expect us to pack up with no place to go. There's a baby here. We are gonna stay right here where it's safe.
okay. We're right at home where it's safe. Wow. You know, you've been saying that a lot this morning. Yeah, well, you have given me a whole lot to wow over. Hmm. I think you could get used to it. Practice. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna lock the door, okay? Uh, Felix. Unlocked? So, are you worried somebody might see us? I guess that could be a little dangerous. Could be. I really think that maybe we should just wait for the back of the bike shop for uh, Jack. Hey, uh, Jamal. Yep. Yeah. Why don't we, uh, go somewhere? Go where? Anywhere that isn't Excuse here. Excuse me. Yeah. Huh? Listen, she says she doesn't remember what happened, and I believe her. I really do. So. So. Jack, do you mind if we sit down? I swear it, Jack, I don't remember how I got Libby. into the... Libby, people saw you coming onto the caddy. Yeah, I know. You reserved mm -hmm. a room. I thought it was for us. God. Jack, what is happening to me? Why can't I remember anything? It's just like the catacombs. You don't know how you got there. You don't know what happened to your clothes. You don't believe me, and I, I barely even no, believe myself. I believe you. You do? It's just, uh, it's just kind of scary. I know what I saw when I walked in that room. Jack, I'm so sorry. And I keep trying to get it out of my mind. Yeah, I know, I, I do too. Especially after what Allison told me. How you made plans for the two of us to be alone. Yeah. Well, they didn't exactly turn out like I thought they would. You were gonna ask me to marry you. I know that's what you wanted, Jack, and it's what I want too. Let me listen. Why don't you? We're so right for each other. We love each other, Jack. Ask me. Jack, please. It's not too late. Please ask me. That wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. <laughs> to refresh my memory. Mm. Is it all coming back to you now? Oh, yeah. I don't know what has gotten into you, but no complaints. Karen Wexler to the ER. Mm. Dr. Wexler, mm. staff. Duty calls. But... I gotta go. But, yeah, but you, you think we can meet later and... and I... plan something? Now that kind of takes the fun out of it, knowing what's coming. But I will see you later. You at least expect it. Wow. What's got into her? I do love you. Maybe too much. And what is that supposed to mean? It means that I can't marry you. And it's not because of what just happened with that guy. I don't understand. Olivia, we've been through so much together. 
our lives, our families, and then Caleb. And I, and I thought that I could be that person that you hang on to, and that that would make everything better, and we could push away all the bad stuff and help each other and be a family for each other. We can't be Jack. I don't know why you're with that guy. I don't know what makes you lose hours at a time. I don't know why you say one thing and do another. But I do know that I almost killed somebody last night. And that took me to a place that I thought I'd never be again. So angry that I didn't even feel human anymore. I almost ripped this guy's head off. It was like... Like what? Like the only thing that was missing was the craving for blood. Other than that, everything was pretty much the same. God, Jack. Honey, I don't know what's going on with you. Or us. But I do know that no matter how much I love you, I Fix me. Make you better. And marrying you's not the answer. You're afraid, aren't you? For both of us. You think being with me, you'll turn back into the monster. So everything's gonna be okay with them, right? Don't you think? Jamal, please tell me you do, even if you don't. They'll be okay, yeah. right? Yeah, we hope. Um, so everything's cool then between us. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we're cool, baby. Because you don't know how hard it was to feel like that far away from you. Well, you know you didn't have to. I know. I know, I know, Jamal is is totally all my fault. And now, when I think about everything that Libby and Jack are going through, I feel totally embarrassed about how I overreacted with you and Valerie. Valerie who? Oh. Hmm? I don't... Well, everything looks pretty good to me. You mean it? Why not? We need another waitress. <laughs> you got the job. So you think I'm the answer to all your problems, is that right, Carl? Ian, let it go. I'm not good at letting things go. Why don't we do this? Why don't we start digging through your life, see what we come no, up with? No, let's not. I'm begging That's you, That's fine Ian, with please. me, Lucy. I had a breakdown. Everyone knows Stop. that. Hey, you seem to have new secrets popping up every day, Which Ian. brings us back to my life, and more importantly, my wife. Stay away from her, Collins. Or what? I'm warning you. Really? Doc, go get the door, please. Get the door. I'm leaving Ian. Can Danny and I stay here for a while? Yeah. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. Port Charles. Is that what this is about? You two wishing that things had turned out differently? You can have love. Starting right now, that'll be everlasting. I don't want to be alone. Beginning October 23rd, SoapNet will present a special rebroadcast of the haunting chapter of Poor Charles' Tainted Love. SoapNet, the only TV and online network devoted to soaps and you.
You're watching this week's Port Charles Marathon. You are irresistible. Stay tuned for more Port Charles coming up next on SoapNet.